Good evening and welcome to Metro Focus. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jack Ford. New York City is once again hitting back at President Trump and his administration over immigration issues. Since he took office, the city has been at the center of the national resistance against some of the White House's more controversial immigration policies. This time around, some city leaders want to lend a helping hand to New Yorkers who are trying to become U.S. citizens but can't afford to do so. City Comptroller Scott Stringer has called for the establishment of a nearly $21 million public-private New York City citizenship fund, which would help tens of thousands of legal immigrants cover the rising cost of the federal application to become a citizen, a process that can run into the thousands of dollars. For more on the story, we are delighted to be joined now by Comptroller Scott Stringer. Nice to have you with us, Good as, to be as back. always. Good to be back. Let's start off with having you explain this citizenship fund. What would it be and how would it function? Well, look, believe it or not, there's thousands and thousands of people, actually 670,000 individuals, who would be eligible for citizenship, but many are not taking that process to the finish line because it costs thousands of dollars when it's all said and done. And we want to stress, as we said, we're talking about people who are here legally. Absolutely. Okay. I was surprised that the costs can be so extensive. I was too. And when you look at the increase in the fees of citizenship since 1989, it's increased 500%. And so when you add up the application fee and maybe the English classes and get lawyers involved, you're talking about thousands of thousands of dollars. So a lot of people who have come here, working here, who are struggling like all New Yorkers to put food on the table, take care of the children, get to the job, sometimes working the night shift, it's hard to put away thousands of dollars to finish the citizenship process. The best way to fight Trump and to be part of a resistance when the attack on immigrants come is to make sure that the path to citizenship has no roadblocks. And so I want to establish a citizenship fund that I believe the city could seed with city dollars. So some money would come from the city. Absolutely. But most importantly, and what I think is exciting, in my travels around New York, I think people would love to contribute to a fund like this, to actually know that a contribution to this fund could allow someone to be a citizen of this great country. Because after all, what's the tradition of New York City? People come from all over the world, my grandparents, other people's parents, individuals who are here today, foreign born, everyone comes to New York from somewhere. And we want to make sure that if people want to become citizens of our country, dollars should not be the reason that you're blocked. And so I think this is something that we will see in the future. Uh, when we put forth an initiative, sometimes it takes a while to get it going. But we've had 80 immigrant rights organizations, social justice organizations, sign a letter to say, let's do this now. I know this is at, at the earliest stages. It's, it's moving away from a vision into something that you hope will become a reality here. How would it work? The way we see it is that we could create, a, within city government, the mayor's fund or other such entity could establish this fund. There is some precedent for doing this. You seed, uh, you could seed the fund, and then you could create a mechanism to raise money from different organizations, not-for-profit organizations, any, anybody who legally could contribute. But I do believe there are people out there who would just love to seed a fund like this. And you know New York City, when we put forth an idea that works, what's going to happen around the country, Chicago, L.A., San Francisco? We could create a network of major cities who who attract immigrants from all over the world to say, let's do this too. Let's really be the United States of America. What do we say? We want people to come here and be citizens. It's the foundation of our country. The, pass, the pathway to citizenship is a time-honored tradition of this country. Well, it, it, it's certainly an interesting initiative here, and, and our hope is that as it moves forward, you and I can talk a little bit more and see what Absolutely. we think about it. Comptroller Scott Stringer, Thank as you. always, a pleasure Thank chatting you. with you. you take you. care.